Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rising Angels Reborn. Last time we found a, um, PDA, I guess. That's what I assume it is. And now we have to decode it. <laughs> well, we're waiting on the computer to, to decode it for us, rather. And we've been talking with Zuri. This is Zuri, right? Yes, okay, good. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Continuing where we were last left off. If you want to tell me to shut up, feel free. That's the one place where rank holds no place. You think I'm a lawyer, right? I am. I think I am. <laughs> you are what you think you are. <laughs> Wait. How do you want to play for me? Can't be seriously thinking that. <laughs> I think a good workout is exactly what I need right now. <laughs> My case. The coach would be so disappointed in how much I've been slacking. Not that stupid. You are what you think you are. <laughs> so, I'm a slacker. <laughs> think I'm a real warrior? I've played more computers than you know exist and barely passed my fitness test. Eh. <laughs> well, <laughs> that reaction is like, ew, well. <laughs> no rank here, tell me the truth. I don't think you are. Scars aren't warriors, they're weaklings. <laughs> ah, whatever. But you seem like a real smart scholar, and I like you as a friend. Aww. Aww. Why do you think so? Like you as well. However, I also think you are completely and utterly wrong. I am a warrior. Oh, not that kind of warrior, I don't think. Oh, then that's far. I need to practice my stances. No, no, you've had me sprawled before. Really not have to do, rather not have to do my work later with a potentially broken bone. Then you were a warrior. <laughs> Damn, I just fight a different type of battle. <laughs> I don't get you. These scholars are all the same, trying to confuse me. <laughs> Maybe you're just not trying hard enough to understand. Yeah. Glowing green light catches my attention. I click the transfer switch and sit down on my in my computer chair. Oh, that. The background music in this game is so good. Sorry, Zuri. Most of my life lessons gonna have to wait till later. Betty, is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> is, it, is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> That's not even a question. Just a period at the end. What? Oh, whatever. Be concentrated, and I'll show you how to be a warrior in the digital age. That's not a real fight. <laughs> Never is when I'm involved. Oh, 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 sick burn. Here are the data. Transfer complete. The program reports that I have acquired all files from the data pad. Most boring and exciting part of my event. Boring and exciting simultaneously. Interesting. One by one, I have to sort through each fi of the files until I find something that's of use. People might call this an invasion of privacy, but I like to think of it as getting the mission done. Whoever owned this plate candy shop, too. <laughs> of course they did. Focus, Zuri. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, first thing. First thing to check is the personal documents. One place I'm going to jackpot is incriminating records, here I come. Pick by as I flip through each of the 20 massive files and documents more. Occasionally I'll throw a non-suspect one to Zuri to keep her distracted. My excitement dwindles with each passing one. Them are standard issue test but textbooks. I even recognize a few of them from my schooling days. Not even a single. There isn't even a general theme. Got an ancient civilization book. Fantasy book on dragons. Pass the dragon one to Zuri, who dives right into it. Whoever owned this didn't keep records of journal entries. Only written documents I can find are for basic composition groups. I found a damn undergraduate's data pad. Damn it. Worthless. <laughs> wow. Two and twice in one line. <laughs> nice. If I could breathe fire and smash stuff with my master talents, it'd be so cool. <laughs> what the heck, Zuri? Do you smash things at the site according to Soul? Would you want to do more of that? No, you're no fun. If you were 20 feet high, you wouldn't be able to fit into the ship either. Can't you let me have my dream of being a super powerful beast of legend? Curious why you'd want it. Seem powerful enough as it is. 
Nobody would dare fight me if that was such a menacing monster. Protecting people would be easy. Dragons protected gold, not people. The mindless drivel coming out of my mouth is only stalling the onset of fear. Some young student's notes on a course I once taught isn't going to solve this. <sighs> Don't fear Nat, we'll get through this. You'll find the clues and I'll transform into a, a towering green dragon of <laughs> You're still on that, Zuri. Of course, Zuri. I'll show you how a warrior of the digital era fights. Rally. Rally, Natalie. <laughs> You can't appear weak. I flipped the pictures next. Nothing jumps out of me. It couldn't have been a year over sixteen. Where is he now? Oh, where he is? Where he is now? I can only assume the worst. I see a picture with a tall male and plump female, both with graying hair. Graying. I can English well. Parents. They're probably at home, wondering how their son's doing. Uh, yet yeah, is doing on his adventures in the galaxy. Um, does she worry about me? Dad was still around. I knew he would. I know he would. Does that admit that I become a professor? A professor? What? <laughs> professor in each history. Not travel the universe. Well, uh, this is why we fight. Yeah, you might not believe it, but Zul always used to tell me that he joined the force so kids didn't have to feel unsafe in our terminal age. Really? Why couldn't he have said that? The souls uh, seem like the type to admit something so weak and heartfelt. Having compassion isn't a weakness. That's why there are quotes around it. <laughs> it is when you put yourself in danger every day of the week. I flipped past the picture, unable to dwell on it any longer. It wasn't until the very last set of pictures I finally find something of interest. Ooh, transfer me that one, transfer me that one. <laughs> towering limestone tablet with delicate inscriptions carved on it. I don't remember seeing it at the research site. A giant rock would have stuck out. Pictures come in a variety of angles. There are no notes associated with them, but I can only assume that the person who took these was excited. The rock was something important. Sorry, do you understand these inscriptions? Ugh. My allergies are acting up today. Uh, I've never seen anything like this before. Ik nat fa la sore tui mit. Oh my. Really? That's not even possible to pronounce pro. Mizik no. Ik nat fa la sore tui mizik no. You can read it. Nope, I'm just saying just random things that sound smart. Sorry. Not sure if it's sarcastic or if you're just trying to upset me. Sorry, I really don't have any clue what these things are. Do not ever look like that again. <laughs> that like the look of someone about to kill. <laughs> Sorry, Major. <laughs> I enjoy a good laugh, but not in the things. Peter, cross-check this with my cryptography gate. Ugh, cryptography database. I want to know what language this is. Yes, Major Natalie. Cross-checking with internal database before sending to external sites. Estimated response time from SIT Sector 3 Lindu. Oh, SIT Sector 3 Linguistic Database is 12 hours. 12 hours! Welcome to the joy of... Interstellar Communications. We won't even be able to get a connection when we shift. This command is going to have to wait a day. Which reminds me... Lieutenant Star, this is Major Pikachu. Uh, Natalie on private. If you want to talk to me, do it in person. Depressing. Can you distinguish what type of shuttle left the shift trails? Even if I could, do you know how many types of different... Different types of ships there are out there? Billions! 3,822 known types of craft still in use. But I really just need to know if you can determine the size of them. No, they're all the same stupid size. I just picked a random path, or do you suddenly have one for me to choose? 
No, Lieutenant, I don't have any updated routes for you. We just need to know to be on our guard. One of those escaping jittles is carrying precious cargo. So you do have something. Not until I can confirm a few things. Natalie out. Hey, wait! <laughs> Did you hear the out part of my call? Duffy wants to buckle up. We're going to make it a shift to the next the shift in five minutes. Oh gosh. Roger. <laughs> Got about the jump. Like I said before, you're not quite a warrior yet. I'm going to buckle myself down in my boat. It's over. Wake me up in a few hours, please. Night and good dreams. Don't want. What answers? It's there for a while. Come to you. I can only hope that the answers to this mysterious script will get to soon. Uh, that we are not too late before the shuttles disappear so let's... Natalie? I'm... I don't have a proper voice for you yet. Natalie? You awake? Oh, that sounds... I don't... I can't do anything. Uh, I am now. What's wrong, Faye? Wow. You can see why they've paired up the Sunshine Twins. <laughs> Larry wanted me to come and wake you up. You said something about your data pad beeping? Oh, did the message come in? You can afford a few moments to grab a bite to eat with me, can't you? I wanted to talk to you about the camp, even though Mom disappointed. Apologize. Huh? <laughs> For what? Apologize to Faye. She's not a mom. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Don't understand this thing. I understand that I'm not tolerating this sort of attitude from you, Soul. Okay, Natalie, Soul doesn't need it. Sneaky to spickle ball. Soul! Ellipses. Soul, get back here! All I hear is the crank of boost and get faint as he. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry that I have to keep apologizing. Hey, it's fluffy. Kale hangs limp in those crystal blue eyes for me. She waves my apology away. Some things never change. Some things should change. Start a fight between friends. They aren't a very good friend of if you don't know something about them that makes you angry. Please don't. He's been getting better, honest. Our, our relationship is a special case. Doesn't make it better. It seemed like a nice, uh... Is that a Lupide or Lupide? I think it's Lupide. He shouldn't be so mean to you, or Alphonse, or anyone else. Ship. Slowly that soft, sleek tail of hers begins to wag once more. Thanks, but there are some things you don't know. Then again, there are some things I don't know either. Alright. Right. right. <laughs> uh, there are things I don't know. To come with me to find out what Zuri wants, we can get some food afterwards. Sheesh. Uh, and I can get the real story behind why Soul seems to hate you more than it's really into Natalie. Sure. Hey, Zuri. Back. Eh? Nobody's here. Things wrong. You hear that? It's all crinkly sound. Electronic smell. Just like when my radar is used to overheat. Oh. Your thing exploded. <laughs> That's bad. Where is it coming from? I don't see anything from my lab equipment or any of the testing processors. This room is pressurized and sealed to prevent potential contamination. Because apparently I can't say that word. It has to come from here. My eyes scan the room, but nothing jumps out at me. What the hell could have... I step farther into the room and hear the noise Faye was talking about. Sounds like Boots stepping on some sort of glass. Oh. I look down and am rewarded by the sight. The obvious answer to who was stepping on glass. Chars of sparkling glass are shattered around the floor. Where'd they... It takes my self-constraint not to scream and cry more rage when I trace the glass back to its origins. 
my data pad. All of those about hours, all of that data, my heroes. The ceremony honoring the dead warriors of over a dozen games. That is what I must do after I get this cleaned up. Heroes will never see their adventures go. I can't even begin to imagine them. that awaits Zuri when I find her. That sort of crime is unforgivable. She couldn't even be bothered to admit she wrote my stuff. It looks like someone stabbed your data pad with some sort of cone shaped object. Oh, that. No, Faye, they knocked her to the ground and stepped on it. Damage is obvious. I'm not talking about that one, but I only own one. the utmost care, she lifts up my precious, precious clue. Not precious anymore. Thin polymer sheeting has been defiled with a large hole gouged in the middle. I ache my only lifeline out of Captain Moonfall's hands. No, 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 this couldn't happen. I jam the power button again and again, but the shattered screen remains as dark as my dreams. Bees could have done this. <laughs> Wasn't like that when I left, I promise. I hadn't uploaded to command yet. Gone. Everything. I can feel myself deflating. Deflating like a pumpkin. Chasing the shuttles with a shot in the dark. This. My hope. And watch where you put those towns. You smashed a couple bottles at the site when I, that I was going to expect. Those people only say they, they can trust me to screw things up. Captain Moonfollow. What you say could have caused that hole? I don't know. Spike, maybe? Would you say it's about the same size as the spikes on Zuri's wings? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what my heart feels like right now. It's as empty as the moon, but the heat of unbridled rage burns strong. Lieutenant Zuri! <laughs> Screaming at the top of my lungs. I don't know what I'm yelling. The painful howl of someone who has just lost their everything. No words will be able to explain the precious information to a command. No words can replace my only lead, and no words can make sense of the pain in my heart. Oh. Hey. Ah. A sweet measure. Whatever's wrong. I don't trust myself to speak. I can only raise my shattered dreams. Research camp data pad. What happened to it? Zuri. <laughs> You don't know. Are you saying you did it? No, I didn't. Noel and Commander Rasuna sprint in. Rasuna's composure is strong and uncompromised. He's only breathing hard and there's an almost manic light in his eyes. Natalie! Natalie! Calm down, Major. Natalie, why are you screaming like a banshee on my ship? Look. Don't give two craps about some stupid trinket. Are you alright? Did she hurt you? Doesn't matter. It gone. Spike went straight through the central drive. There's no way I can recover anything. If you want me to give her a look, I want you to shut the hell up. <laughs> nice. That. There are more things to find out there. Are you right? I'm physically fine. I came as fast as I could. What's wrong? E? It seems odd that our security officer would take so long to respond to an emergency. Odd? This is my downtime. You decided to go right off shift right after this? This? What's this? Don't lie to me. Really, I don't know what you're letting about. This. Shove the broken pad under him. Watch the green eyes widen in air. Clearly frightened that I knew of her Natalie. Hi. Why are you all looking at me? You think I did this, do you? Did Faye leave before you? Yeah, Faye left. Then I left. It was fine before I left. I swear upon the winds, I do. The only person here. You were the only person who could have done this. That question mark is weird. I'm afraid the whole Captain Zuri matches your sp matches your spike size. I know you. 
That's not awkward. You have spike. You have spiked wings too. I know I'm much too big to have caused this. For your next question, I was with Kylie trying to fix the bathroom. Then there's my personal data pad, crushed. It could have just fallen. The boot print on it. Large one. One like yours. Well, his big feet. Maybe he came in here and tried to frame me. You all know he doesn't like me. We're not humans. Out of the sea of hostile faces, he's the only one that is calm and collected. I figured he would be the most upset person. This incident confirming his anger. If, but he's not. If anything, he looks contemplative. Lieutenant Zuri, the Major was with me during the time in question. I'll not declare your investigation with bias and petty insults. You have a history of stepping up things, don't you? Both could have done it, but you. Stop lying. Stop lying to all of us. You broke with both. By accident, I'm sure, but you did it. This was my only clue, Zuri. My only hope. You smashed it. You destroyed them both, and you can't even find the curtain. What sort of weird is that? That. My honor is a warrior. I swear before the winds that I didn't do it. You have to believe me. She's pleading with me. Her tone is hurt and weak as mine. My anger is raining out as it begins to vent from my heart. She was the only person who stuck with me during the I don't want to think that she did. I don't want to. I don't want to think she did it. Facts are facts. Zuri was the only one who could have died. Zuri wouldn't like to me. I've just gotten to know her, but I can feel in my heart that Zuri would have to have faith in my crew. I have to consider more than just the damning facts. There's more here. There has to be. I've let my fear take over my mind. My emotions are swirling around like a vortex. I'm not thinking straight. Okay, Zuri. I believe you. Major Natalie, you are allowing your emotions to cloud your judgment. I'm... What? <laughs> Excuse me. The evidence you have submitted is the proof I need. Lieutenant Zuri, you had the means, history of clumsiness, and opportunity. But... That you continue to deny your guilt is a conduct unbecoming an officer. Quite appalling. A appalling. I can speak English. Until I determine what your punishment should be, you are hereby restricted to your quarters. Myself or Major Hackett will escort you for food at designated periods of the day. And fine. I will determine what sort of punishment this act of negligence warrants at a later time. Captain Moonfollow, please inform Lieutenant Star that she'll be rooming with you on alternate sleeping cycles. Yes, ma'am. Major uh, Natalie, report to me the damage after you do a less emotional assessment. I will comply. And you are coming with me back to your quarters. I didn't do it. Keeping your mouth shut and not making your situation worse would be wise. But I didn't do it, Lieutenant. I didn't. Why won't you believe me? If you had proven yourself more trustworthy and past, I wouldn't have to had it. It wouldn't have to have the uh, end this way. If you excuse me, my dear soul, you haven't said anything this whole time. <laughs> I was pondering the mysteries of the universe. Tell me, Natalie, why do you think Zuri's innocent? The evidence is against her. I can't let my anger at the situation dilute my understanding. Right now, every single piece of evidence suggests that was Zuri. That fact alone makes me suspect others. Everything just seems too convenient. Even if she hadn't been the last confirmed person in the room, we would have suspected Zuri due to her nature of not watching her surroundings. If we consider a second suspect, Zuri logically would be the first person I tried to put the blame on. As you saw, nobody would question it. Then, there's the circumstances surrounding it. Where'd she go? Less than ten minutes to pass between Faye leaving and my arrival. If she really was the one who smashed the pass, she would have been near the scene and one of the first to respond. She could have waited. 
perhaps, but what also bugged me was her defense. Most criminals would have tried to show an alibi to prove their innocence, but Mary didn't. She just repeated that she didn't do it. it. Makes me feel she really believes that she didn't do it. Then there's the damage to the recovered data pad. I didn't consider this in my angle, but what sort of angle, weird angle would she have to be to have done that? What about her martial arts? My lab? I gave her some credit. Uh, besides, there was no other damage to the rest of the room. Want to know what I think? I'm letting my emotions blind me? Really? So look at... You're letting yourself be blinded by presumptions. I fully agree with you. I think Zuri's innocent. Wait, what? Soul? Soul. You okay? Your analysis of the situation where we could have found a true culprit faming Zuri matches my thoughts. You missed... Just missed one very important detail, though. Oh? As odd as it is for me to be the one to say it, you missed the emotional aspect. Zuri's not the type to lie. She believes that babble about being a real warrior and is almost always truthful. She'll dodge questions like no tomorrow, but she has never straight out lied to me. She says she's innocent, I'm forced to believe her. There's something belittling about being told to look at the psychological aspects of a case by soul. <coughs> Ugh. I agree. Still, I agree. Zuri seems so open. Mine doesn't fit my picture of her at all. But if we can include Zuri's innocent, we're going to be forced to face another unpleasant fact. Somebody destroyed the native hands. They didn't want me looking at what those pictures contained. Pictures. I explained what limited findings I had before my information was removed. Just like when I first thought about it, the look of worry and irritation across his eyes. The report said they were looking into an artifact, not a giant rock. Didn't recognize the language? It's gibberish. I might be able to reproduce some of it in my memory, but without the original, we have no idea what it said. The shuttles have been dispatched to find pe the pieces of some weapon in the aqua's directions? Maybe. The writing was coordinates, it was done in a prose format. But our problem now is what was written on. Why if someone decided to destroy that information, what would they gain by thwarting that your investigation? Okay, guys. I think, um... This episode's been going long enough. I actually think it's been going a bit longer than normal. But that was, um, serious plot twists right there. <coughs> so yeah. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Rising Angel.